Say, I said, what did you scare that bird for? Take my horse around the livery stable. Tell him to water him easy and give him some hay. Hey, I owned your slave last year. Set a couple of cannonballs. That'll be one dollar, mister. Fifty cents a drink. Freight rates are high, mister. I'll only need about five more cattle cars on the 17th. That's five on the 17th. I'll only need ten myself. On the same date? Right. Who's that just came in? Never saw him before. At least ten for me should just about do it. Got a good livery stable around here? Stivers is right in back. Wouldn't say it's too good, but it'll probably do. You mean it'll do for me, huh? I saw Stivers' kid out in Fella a while ago. He could show you where it is. He just hit me fall. Wasn't doing anything. Which fellow was it, Willie? It was his fault. Wasn't doing anything. What do you mean by hitting my kid? You better go back to your stable and take my horse with you. Anyway, you look like you need the business. I don't know how old you are, but it beats me how you lived this long, being so reckless. You're a little reckless yourself, mister. Good looking gun you've got there. Try keeping it in your holster. Go along, Gary. Go patch yourself up. All right, everybody, let's all sit down and be happy. Give him a drink, Paul. Fix the others a drink, too. Am I drinking alone? Mr. What? Crow? Bus Crow? From Laredo? Around Laredo. Happen to know where a man can get a good job? With cattle to crow? I should be all right. Tell him, Pose. Well, the big out's cutting down. Drifters moving in. Taking up the land, putting up fences. There seems to be plenty of brand changing going on, too. Take them fellows over there. There's the big out. It's not one of them is running as many cattle as last year. Some have even been selling their breeding cattle. Doesn't sound like the job prospects are very good. You look real grown up. Draw your own conclusions. <laughs>
third in two days. That's the worst job of butchering I've ever seen. When I was a kid, Indians used to butcher our cattle and just take the tenderloin. Well, whoever done this is just about as bad. Tracks go south, toward the end of the ridge. South. Down below, huh? Mm hmm You know the fellow that moved into the house next to the old dry spring? He drilled a well down there. What's his name? Miller. He had about nine heads the other day. Let's take a look, see how many he's got now, huh? I don't like to be accused. Of Nobody's accused you of anything. Well, I was riding by there this morning and saw the bird circling and wondered what happened. But stopping and looking don't mean I butchered that beef. You got blood and grease on you right now. That don't mean nothing either. I had to shoot ahead of my own stock this morning. I got a right to butcher what belongs to me, don't I? You better be sure it's your own beef. I am sure. You're a liar. My word's as good as yours. Come on, let's go. What happened up on the north range? They cut up three more ahead and ran off about 20 on the lower range. Start putting up fences and leave a couple of extra boys around each herd. We picked up a trail that led to the South Ridge. Squatter's place, name of Miller. Looked like he just butchered a steer. Had a hide hung up, but the brand was cut out. All right, Crayshaw. Go put on those extra boys, like I said. You men better go with him. Between the three of us, we've lost about 50 head of beef in the last week. It's time we did something about it. Yeah, the way things are going, I've half a notion to sell out completely. I can't believe you mean that, Britton. Did you let a small, shiftless bunch of newcomers chase you off your own land, stampede your stock, butcher your beef? Well, how are you going to stop them? There's never any evidence. I think we have a way of dealing with this problem. What way? Hire Bus Crow. Uh, I'd rather go out of business entirely than be mixed up with any kind of violence. We can handle it in such a way that even he won't know who's hiring him. He'll know, and so will everyone else. We're the only cattle holders of any importance around here. But there won't be any real connection with us. Couldn't any single one of us who hired him. How are they going to prove which one? Or that it was any of us? Yeah, let them prove it. Like we've been batting our heads against the wall trying to prove they raided our herd. Well, how do we know that Crow will go along with us? I've heard of Crow. He's been a paid gun all the way from Laredo to Kansas City. He'll come along with us for a price. How would you arrange it? We leave Danny up so much money. I know how to handle it from there on. Uh, I don't like it. You better count me out. I'm afraid you're outvoted, John. We're going to have to count you in. I guess I have no choice in the matter. But let's give them fair warning first to stay off our ranges. All right, John. We'll give them fair warning. left for you on the mirror of my dresser. Keep this confidential. You can help Bus Crow if you have him wait for someone in room 27 at the hotel, one o'clock. Who's the someone? You?
You're mean, aren't you? Let's just say I'm not gentle. But you still haven't answered my question. Who am I supposed to wait for in room 27? I haven't the faintest idea. You can bet it won't be me, mister. Man makes enemies. There might be someone to blow my head off. That's the pleasantest thought I've heard since you came to town. I hope I'm not disappointed. Anything wrong, Hallie? Draw me a bead. Give me a beer. In a minute. I said give me a beer. In a minute. I'll take that one. This is for the lady. I thought the lady was here to take care of the customers. Playing. You heard what the lady said. I run a saloon. It's a business. Customers are my business, too. What are you trying to tell me? Stay out of your saloon? Just behave yourself and don't cause any more trouble. Trouble's my business, lady, and I was brought up on it. I know. And I never had time to change. How do you know? First time I ever saw you, I knew it. When you came into my place, you were crooked. But in your eyes, there was... Don't tell me how hard you are. I used to kill gophers for money when I was a kid. Then I killed Indians for money. Now I just kill for money. You must be very rich. No. And not very happy. Did you come out here to apologize for slapping me? You don't know much about women, do you? Do you think it's time I learned? Yes, I do. Good night, Mr. Crow. your door, you ought to lock your window. I was beginning to worry you weren't going to get here, Crow. Going to shoot? Shoot. I hope they won't make that necessary. If you want money, why don't you try the blackjack game across the street? <laughs> Not after I watched them clean you out. On your feet. Let's go now. Quiet. Keep them there. When you get a message, why don't you do like you're told? Someone wants to talk to you. When you go in there, kind of do what he says. I don't like talking to strangers. What's this all about? Well, it says to tell you there'll be a curtain between the rooms. Don't touch the curtains. Why not? 
way he talked, if I were you, I'd do as he says. Go on in. Put your hands up when you get on the inside. Sit down. Put your hands on the table and don't try anything. I have a shot running right at you. What do you want? Want to hire you. Judging from the way you hire, it'd be a pleasant job. We can make it a profitable one. Who's we? Let's just say it's me. Go on, I'm listening. You'll be given a list of names. You will notify these men to get out. Leave this part of the country. What the men on the list do? If they continue to do any more, they'll run us out of business. They've stolen and slaughtered our beef. Drifted onto our land. There are a lot of people here first, and they intend to stay. What if these drifters intend to stay, too? That'll be up to you. You'll get $600 for every man that ain't around here anymore. Why notify him? Why don't I just go out and shoot him down? Nobody wants that. I want him to have fair warning. I don't want cold murder. I want to hire a police force in your red. Look, I've been kind of busy doing my own killing. If you want him killed, why don't you do it yourself? Open a drawer in front of you. That envelope's got the names of the first two men. It's also got $600 cash in advance. Why don't I get the whole list? Get more names, it's also more money. See how you do on this. a cup of good cheer for us men of the community. Tonight she plays hostess not only to us, but by golly, also to our wives. <laughs> Here's continued good health and success to Allie McLeary. I shudder to think how dull life would be hereabouts without her. That's right, Hallie. There ain't many females we'd trust our men folks to. <laughs> no, it ain't a matter of trusting. 
truth is, we women know that the best of them will stray once in a while, and isn't they do? It's a comfort to know that they're straying in a well-kept pasture where we can find them. <laughs> How's about that dance, Sally? Well, nothing doing. Hallie promised me this dance. John, you old mountain goat, you'll have to let this one out. No. It's a mighty pretty toast, too. <laughs> Just a minute, Jeff. I'll be right there. Willie, what are you doing in town, Miss May? Sponsoring me. I can work there. It's the stable. Haven't you even had any dinner? Nope. You come right along with me. What's wrong with inviting me in? It's a private party. Yeah, I know. I uh, read the sign. You know the place is closed tonight to the public. Ain't the public good enough for them? It's a matter of being good enough. It's a private party, that's all. You just said that. Happens that I like private parties. Even when you're not invited? That's what I like them the most. I know, I know. Private party. No harm in a fellow just watching, is there? No, I guess not. I'll have some of that sour mash, don't you? You got to kill your cruel husband because you found you loved me. The truth you would not tell the jury, and they blame me for your sin. And they're gonna hang his eye on the gallows. You've got to tell the truth, you devil. Tell him that you did that part of it. You the jail. You just came in. I heard you tell him you had lied. Yes. Who invited you? I don't know. Let's try to find out. So you hung your pretty head and Yeah, no. That isn't good. It'd be worse to make anything out of it. Well, good. Now I know he'll get home. Good night, Willie. Good night, Allie. That'll be all for tonight, Paulson. Finish cleaning up in the morning. All right, Allie. 
Jack. When did they find him? A couple of hours ago. Looks like he's been dead several days. We just brought Charlie Bevan in dead. We want to know what you intend to do about it. Well, if you can tell me who did it, I'll arrest him. And if a jury finds him guilty, I'll hang him. What more do you expect me to do? What did you do if it was one of your own people instead of a stranger? Charlie Bevins wasn't any stranger. Yes, he was. Charlie's lived here most a year. I've been around more than that. But we'll always be strangers as far as you townspeople are concerned. Well, maybe that's your own fault. Maybe. Sure, lots of the people who are drifting in are guilty of rustling and butchering. But a lot of us are law-abiding, peaceful people. Then why don't you let the law take care of this? You ain't even started investigating the Miller killer yet. I investigated it, Mr. Stiver. About all you did was look at him and agree he was dead. Maybe I felt it was a good riddance. Now you're being honest. There was a note at the Miller's warning him to get out. We found a note just like it at Beverage Shack. You can't tell me that somebody isn't being paid to drive us all out. I don't know who left those notes. A lot of people would be glad to see you and them like you get out. We aren't going to get out. We've got as much right around here as anybody. You fellas just moved in and sat down. People here have been around for 20 years. They're all on grants. Or places they homestead. What do you think we are? We're homesteaders, too. We're doing just exactly what you did 20 years ago. Now, if you can't protect us, maybe... Well, maybe we better organize and protect ourselves. You're pretty brave, Mr. Bainbridge. No. No, I'm not brave. I'm scared. I may be a stranger to you, Sheriff, but I've built my home here. I've got a family. I want to live here. I want to live here in peace and in safety. Well, what do you expect me to do? We're being fought with a gun, a hired gun. It's money that's fighting us. So maybe that's the way we gotta fight back. And if the local sheriff can't protect us, maybe we'd better get a United States Marshal down here who can. Go ahead. Good luck. Thanks. Maybe we need it. Taking over? Large bets. Large enough? Ever win? You ever lose? Depends on the game, I think. Bus. What game are you playing? Doesn't matter what kind of game a man plays. As long as he wins.
Put your snipe out. We'll never be able to pack those mule trains at the wharf, the general said. So I said, General, just shove those mules overboard and let them swim ashore. <laughs> What about them Spaniards? Did they give you any trouble? They were shooting at us, all right. We got through them. They couldn't have been very good fighters. The only good fighters are live ones. Guess you had to kill a lot of them, huh? When it comes to killing, I guess I got a corner on the market. How many did you kill? I don't count Indians or Spaniards. I'd say exactly 67. A bunch of folks. Speak of Cuba. Any of you boys match this little souvenir from Daiquiri Beach? What do you know about Daiquiri Beach? Oh, not too much, mister. I don't know too much about Daiquiri Beach, but you look kind of familiar to me. Yeah? Well, you look like a stranger to me. What's your name, stranger? Some call me one thing, some another. What do most of them call you? Rochelle. Sam Rochelle. Ah, feel the marshal. Give the marshal a drink. What do you expect to find at Pearl City, Marshal? Pearls? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pearls. Maybe swine. I said, what do you know about Daiquiri Beach? I always understood it was Colonel Roosevelt who gave the orders to swim those mules ashore. You heard me say I gave that order. Did you? I didn't get the name. I didn't give it. I know you didn't. Well, gentlemen, I guess I'll get settled in the hotel. Good afternoon, Mr. Crow. Sure. Pretty hard to dig up facts in Pearl City. I think you're doing very well for the amount of time you've been here. People aren't very talkative. They're scared. That's why I'm glad you're here. I had an idea the reward would bring in somebody like you. Thanks. But I didn't come all this way just to collect a reward. Marshall's a pretty good man. Give me two cards. Okay. I checked with Denver, Cheyenne, even down in Omaha, where he comes from. He's one of the best marshals in the business. We'll have to take care of him some way. I'll bet $10. I'll call. How many people have moved off our ranges? I checked today. Only five families. It's not enough. You think money do any good? Not with this man. Two pair. I was holding a kicker. Three jacks. I suggest we let Crow take care of a few more. Then they'll all pack up and move out. Haven't we had enough killing already? Better yet, let Crow take care of the marshal. No, that would be too obvious. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll have to get somebody else to approach the marshal. The sooner the better. Identified man. 
Don't go for your gun, Marshal. I want to talk to you. Put your hands up. Please, Sally. Don't try for the gun on the bedpost. Come on in. Maybe we can talk this over. I wasn't sent here to talk. I was sent here to kill you. Who sent you? Fella. Give me a hundred dollars. He'd give me another hundred when the job was finished. Only two hundred dollars for killing me? Marshals don't come very high around here. That's not what I'm talking about. It's a pretty fair reward for the man who's been doing all this killing. I was to tell you his name. He turned out to be the killer. Do we split the reward? Sounds interesting. All right, is it a deal? How could I trust you? The fellow who sent you here couldn't. You're gonna have to trust me, mister. <laughs> He works for Jeff Montgomery. It's all right, folks. I just had to kill a burglar. What happened, Marshal? He tried to rob me. Of what? Of my life, for one thing. Crashaw. Maybe that'll mean an end of all the killings we've had around here. I don't think so, Sheriff. your presence. Kind of fancy, isn't it? Not tonight. I feel like celebrating. Open it. It's uh, not exactly the Waldorf. What are we drinking to? Let's just drink the feeling this way. How do you feel, Hallie? Maybe I'm just happy. Then let's drink to us. Good news. Could be the best. Something secret? No. I'm celebrating because of Crashaw. What have you got against Crashaw? Nothing. But when Crashaw was killed, it cleared up a lot of things around here. Didn't know he amounted to that much. He didn't. But you do. What's that got to do with me? Bus. 
Lots of people thought you were guilty of the killings. I expected them to. You didn't care. Nobody cares if a man's killed as long as he deserves killing. That's why I never believed you did these. You didn't? Why didn't you believe it, Hallie? Miller was shot in the back. I know you wouldn't shoot a man in the back. If you kill him in the scrape, it doesn't matter if a man's cut in two frontwards or backwards. What difference does it make now, anyway? It makes a difference. It makes a difference to you, too. Why? I have a feeling Marsha Rochelle still thinks it was you. I want to help you. I don't need any help. If he decides to arrest you, you'll need help. A lot of it. Why should Rochelle arrest me? Why should anyone arrest me? He's got a lot of circumstantial evidence. He's got no evidence against me. They'll never have any listen evidence. Listen to me, Buzz. I'm not afraid of Rochelle. I don't care what he's got. But you've got to listen to me. It's only natural he'd suspect you. Everyone knows you've lived by the gun. The killing started right after you arrived. You were broke when you got here, and all of a sudden you had money, plenty of it. Someone could have hired you and paid you well. They know the same man did them all. He left empty shells all of a kind. They know that... All right, if I did them, then where's my right? Well, you could have hidden it anywhere. I thought you said you didn't believe I did him. I don't. You built up a pretty strong case against me. Boss, I wouldn't be if I believed you did them. What if I did to them? What would you think then? I'd think you ought to... From you, that's funny. Are you so free from sin? Do you think I'd be here if I was? If I'm guilty, you're just as guilty as I am. You had a hand in hiring me. Hiring you? You don't think I believe that story about a note being left in your dresser. You don't think you I... You did do them. It was you. You didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know then, and I don't know now who wanted to meet you. And I'm afraid I didn't know you. What makes me any worse than them that hired me? You're no worse. You all have the same stench. Yeah. Ain't you even gonna kiss me goodbye? If you ever touch me again, I'll kiss you. There's more to that bargain, Helly. You open your mouth about what I just said, and I'll kill you. You already have. Well, you're here early, Helly. I have a lot of work to do. Don't tell me you're busy on the ledges this early. Running a business, Paulson. What's so peculiar about being busy? Why, my head off, Kelly. There's nothing peculiar about it, I guess. It's just that I was surprised at seeing you here so early. I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. Go check the bar for me, will you? When you have problems, I wish you'd let me take care of them. I could be a lot of help to you if you'd just let me. You can help me the most by doing your work and leaving me alone. You sure up early? Good morning, Marshal up here. Well, yes, you can up the door. Well, what room is he in? I want to talk to you. Oh, no, his room ain't going to help see him. He's gone already. Oh, well, do you have any idea where he went? Heck no. He could be most anywhere. That man just around. Right now, I'd say he'd be around the sheriff's office. Oh, I see. Well, maybe I'll find him there. He announced the reward, eh? No, Bart, I'm not after the reward. I was hoping you'd come to see me. Why? You knew where to find me. I understand you've questioned nearly everyone in town. Did you have any questions to ask me? Quite a few. But I seem to remember you don't like being questioned. What's the matter, Hallie? 
nothing. I also remember that you asked me not to try to see you again. I can't imagine that my feelings would interfere with you doing your job. They didn't then, did they? Doing my job wasn't easy, Hallie. Maybe I was foolish to hope you'd understand. I was foolish too, Sam. Foolish to believe that our love was more important than that badge. That's unfair. What's unfair about it? You forced me to answer questions that helped convict an innocent man. He wasn't innocent. I believe he was. I can understand that. He was your brother. But were you a fair judge? Who should be the judge? You? That badge? That tin star with Marshall stamped on it? You know, that badge is almost all I can remember about you, Sam. But I can remember other things. In an office just like this, wasn't it? The man behind bars, pacing just like him. Only I knew that other man. And I loved him. What are you trying to tell me? That you're in love with someone else who's also outside the law? Right or doesn't it, Hallie? Are you here to tell me those empty shelves are bus crows made, Mark? Is that what you're here to tell me? I didn't come here to tell you anything, Marshal. Allie, if there are any more killings and there's something you can tell me and don't, you'll be just as guilty as the one who commits them. You're wearing the badge. You decide who's guilty. It's your job. It's your job too, Hallie. Why? Why should it be my job? You're smug, aren't you? The stout-hearted, righteous marshal of holding law and order, even telling me who I should love. Well, I didn't come here to tell you anything. You want information? Get it yourself. That's what you're being paid for. You want to know about Crow and me? Ask him. Get the facts from him. Ask him about me. I want to ask him about Bainbridge. He's in his hotel room. Ask him. I want you to tell me, Hallie. You. Don't you understand? And don't you understand? I won't help you convict another man. There. What'd you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Leave me alone. You shouldn't run away. I just want to talk to you. You saw the marshal. What'd you say to him? I told you I didn't say anything. Why didn't you say anything? I couldn't. 
course you couldn't. I'm glad you couldn't. Oh, take your hands off me. Did you think it was because of you? You're worse than an animal. You kill without reason. It wasn't because of you, but because of me. I couldn't kill, not even you. What makes you do these things? What well, I'm best at. So go away. Go away and leave these people alone. You go on in alone, May. I'll drop the cab, but I can't find it. I want Willie to help me. All right. Be back in an hour or so. Goodbye, Willie. Bye, Mom. Willie, you look over in the slope, and I'll go over to the far hill. All right, Dad. Sure, I told you. You find us some clues. We'll work on them. Here's a clue. A big one. You're the sheriff's deputy. What have you been doing about this? We found out that they all come from the same gun. It's a foreign gun. We've never seen one like it. Well, I have. A lot of them. It's a monlicher. We use them in we use them in Cuba. All right. Now whose gun is it? And where is it? Did you ever think of questioning Bus Crow? Why should we? Well, he's a stranger here. He arrived about the time the killing started. You know his reputation. Marshal, we're trying to do this thing according to due process of law. Sure, we thought about Buzz Crow. What you said is no evidence against him. I happen to know Crow was in Cuba, too. Well, there's still no evidence. Women and children crying. A good man like Gus Bainbridge shot down in cold blood. That ought to be evidence enough. Marshal, the only evidence we can use is that gun. All right, I'll go along with your due process of law. The only evidence you can use is the gun. All right.
Where'd you find them? Just north of the house. You kept your mouth shut before. Try keeping it shut now. What are we going to do about it, Sheriff? That's right. What are we going to do about it? I can tell you right quick what we're not going to do. We're not going to go wild and forget the proper procedures of the law. We're just as much to blame for this as whoever fired the shot. And of all people, I feel I'm the most to blame. Now go home, all of you, and let the law handle this. Meaning you, Sheriff? I deserve that shit. No, I don't mean me. The marshal will bring him in, and whoever else is involved will be dealt with as well. Now, go on home, all of you, like I asked you to. <laughs> rifle where it is, Mr. Crow. Don't move. I'll take your gun belt, too.
You can kill the way I can. I had to, but... Nobody cares if a man's killed. As long as he deserves killing. He was wrong, Hallie. I was wrong, too. <laughs> 